Hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well Army and today I've got another um, opening adventures on Sunday. This one is a little bit different again like the previous one where it's more of a haul. I went into Melbourne today, I live in Australia um, and just picked up a few different cool things and I've also got um, an item that I got sent in the mail as well to go through. Oop, don't knock things over. Um, now the first thing I got is uh, number one of the New 52 Futures and Teen Titans. This is absolutely amazing. It has a holographic cover. The lighting's not really helping with that. But it changes as you move it around. And also on the back, the American Dad um, advertisement there is also with the same texture. So it's a really odd feeling um, cover. I'll give a quick look at this. Like I did in the last one, I'll show you a bit through the comic. On the inside, it's just your regular comic print. Really high quality gloss pages. A lot of advertisements um, all the way through. Absolutely love comics, so I'm looking forward to this. And I love the Teen Titans. And that is absolutely awesome. I just saw this one because I wanted to get a comic because I went into the comic store there. And I, this one just stood out with the changing cover like that. I had to get it. So that's the first item. The second one I got before I went in to pick up that comic is actually the um, Deathstroke Volume 1 mask and comic book um collection. Now I'll just read the back of this out to you. <clears throat> From the pages of his own comic book to the hit CW show Arrow, Deathstroke, the world's deadliest assassin, has been annihilating his enemies for decades. Now in Deathstroke Volume 1, Gods of War, written and drawn by superstar artist Tony S. Daniel, Slade Wilson must start over from the beginning when the world he knows burns down around him. Broken and battered, Deathstroke has been betrayed and left for dead by his closest friends and allies. The world believes its most lethal mercenary has finally been terminated, but the ultimate killer is not so easy to put down. Along with a paperback copy of Deathstroke Volume 1 Gods of War, this special edition box set includes an exclusive Deathstroke mask, a must have for any fan of the seminal character. Now, this is absolutely awesome. I'll give you a bit of a look around the box there. You can see Deathstroke on the side there. And what has it got? Oh, it's got reviews on this one. So this one doesn't have the quote like um, the Quarter of Hours one. And you've got the same picture there with a um, review from IGN. That's the back of the box showing it off. Front and the top. Now let's get straight into this. Now I have actually already looked at this and made sure it was in good shape because some of the, the box is a little bit damaged. Um, just, just battered from being on the shelf on that. But... The mask is in good shape, and the comic book itself is in good shape. So first off, let's take this one out. I'll move the plastic thing on the bottom here. So this mask is awesome. Now this one was more expensive than the Court of Owls um, book and mask set. Um, it does feel stronger. It's a much um, better quality mask, although a little bit frayed with the, um, uh, what's this called, the elastic here, but that can be easily fixed up or replaced if you wanted it to be. You could thread some new ones there and um, fix it up. Uh, so that's the look of the mask there. It looks amazing. Inside, pretty standard. Putting on the face. It feels a bit loose, and I feel funny talking through this. You can see out the one eye, this eye's got holes through it that you can see. It's it's weird. <laughs> it feels cool though. It feels a lot stronger than that previous one, the Court of Owls. It looks really cool as well. Um, but you still do have to be careful with it because it is just plastic. Um, it's more so a collector's item than to just wear around and um, play around with it. But it would come in handy if you're using it as like a prop. Um, you just want to be careful that you don't break it. I'm just going to put this back down in the plastic around here, not to step on. And here is the um, comic book that comes with it. I'll give you a quick look through this because I've also got two more items that I want to go through. So, again, this is a massive comic. It's um, volume one, so I think it's seven comics, five to seven comics in it. But you can see really high quality gloss pages. Absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to reading this. And I saw Harley Quinn in this all the way through here. Um, no, no, I absolutely love Harley Quinn. She's amazing. Looking forward to Suicide Squad. Going to be absolutely awesome. So that's this. 
awesome book. Next thing, I ordered this online. It is the Recred exclusive, um, the Joker Batman Batman. Now this pop vinyl, I um, I really wanted to get for so long, and people were selling it for so expensive online. Finally got my hands on one. Let's have a let's have a look at it. Love the coloring on this one. There he is there. Love the colouring, he's so awesome. Let's go with my collection of pop vinyls. Starting to get quite a collection to be honest. Um, but tracking him down, he was so difficult to get. I'm trying to work out where I can see him. Let's sit him down here. Um, but that's that. And the last thing for this kind of whole opening adventures on Sunday is a lightning Gundam um, Gumpler. And this is just like a BB series one, so it's really small, easier to build. Uh, it's a Team Tri Fighters Yuma Kawasaki mobile suit. Um, this was only ten dollars. Um, still see the price on the side here, right there, ten dollars fifty. Um, and this one transforms. So I'm gonna make a building um, episode. I'm gonna put this model together. It should only take about half an hour max if you clean it up. Um, but I'll definitely do one for this, uh, like I did the previous um, LBX figure. So that is what I got today. Um, I'm not going to open this one yet uh, because it's going to be in all the plastic bags and I'm not building it right now. So that will be later on. Anyway, that's kind of the little bit of a haul video I did today of, of all the things I got today. So excited to get through some of these. So excited to read those comics. They're absolutely awesome. Finally got this pop vinyl and I cannot wait to build the um, Gumpla for you guys on the channel. Absolutely looking forward to it. Um, and if you didn't see in the previous opening adventures on Sunday, some of the stuff might be out on my other channel um, now, J and J Reviews, um, where my friend Joel and I, because we're both Joel, um, we review products. Now we have quite a collection going on down here, ready to go, um, and Joel's got some extra stuff, and we've got what is it? Two other um, subscription services where we have been in contact with. Um, got a deal with them and we're going to be opening their products up on the channel as well so look forward to that one of them is going to have a coupon code for you guys so you know 10 percent off the product got to look forward to that absolutely awesome cannot wait to show you but i can't tell you which company it is until we're doing the review uh where we'll give you all the details so please if you have some spare time head over to j and j reviews check out that channel leave a like on some of the videos subscribe you'll see awesome unboxing and reviewing content going on over there um as for opening adventures on Sunday, I'll do more um, kind of like loot haul kind of things where I've gone shopping and I've got a whole lot of things. We'll look through them and open them up and, you know, like pop vinyls, I'll buy a few of those, models, comic books, whatever I pick up, I'll just go through them as a bit of like a collection episode. Um, and I'll do trading cards um, on this series as well. Some of the things like the loot crane that are moving over to the other channel um, where I'll do reviews back on opening, uh, not opening adventures on Sunday, I have that in a different channel or playlist. Uh, back over on um, Adventures of Well on Me, we'll be doing like recaps of the Loot Crate. That's going to be bi-monthly. So one week I'm opening my Loot Crate on J&J &J Reviews or one month, and then one month um, Joel, uh, the other Joel, is going to be opening his Loot Crate on J&J um, &J Reviews. So <laughs> bi-monthly I'll open it on there review it back on here and then the next month I'll open the whole thing on this channel so it'll all work out. Anyway, have a great one guys, please leave a like on this video, share it, it helps me out and also subscribe to see more content coming your way. Have a good one guys, I'll catch you next time.